Hello, in this session, I'm going to show you how to determine the energy expenditure, a topic from Unit 1, Nutrition and Health. Chapter 2, The Basic Principles of a Balanced Diet for the third secondary LH and SE sections. Energy expenditure is the amount of energy that a person needs for all the body functions from movement to breathing to digestion. So we are specifically going to estimate how much is this energy expenditure using different methods. By the end of the session, you will be able to find the relation between the energy expenditure for a specific activity, sedentary, moderate activity, light activity for an athlete, and the respiratory intensity, which represents the volume of oxygen consumed during the oxidation reactions of the nutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids. These oxidation reactions provide energy necessary for all the body functions, digestion, respiration, physical activities, and so on. How energy expenditure is it estimated? Firstly, by a direct method known as direct calorimetry, by measuring directly the amount of heat produced by a subject. During this method, the subject is placed in a sealed and insulated chamber. A known amount of water is circulated through pipes from the top of the chamber and the heat released by metabolic reactions is transferred from the subject and absorbed by water. The change in water temperature is then measured so we can determine the amount of heat absorbed by water. Since the chamber is well insulated, so the amount of heat produced by the subject is equal to the amount of heat absorbed by water according to the thermal equilibrium. Then the energy expenditure is estimated. This technique is very accurate, but it's too much expensive. It does not provide information about the substrate being oxidized and the subject is placed in this physical confined environment for long periods of time. So do we have other simpler ways to estimate the energy expenditure? To find out the other methods used to estimate energy expenditure, you must understand how your body produces energy from the oxidation reactions of organic matter. The following document represents an example of oxidation reaction of an organic matter such as glucose. During this chemical reaction, glucose reacts with oxygen and they produce a waste product, carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Every one molecule of glucose reacts with six molecules of oxygen. In a quantitative manner, one mole of glucose molecules reacts with six moles of oxygen molecules to produce 2,871 kilojoules. Now, you are kindly requested to pause presentation here and answer the question at the bottom of the next slide. To answer this question, firstly, by referring to the chemical reaction between glucose and oxygen, every one mole of glucose reacts with six moles of oxygen and produces 2,871 kilojoules. How much energy is it produced from two moles of glucose? Exactly, two times 2,871 kilojoules. So you can see that the energy produced is proportional to the quantity of oxidized matter. Secondly, focus on this table, which shows the energy value of organic food, proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids. This energy value is expressed in kilojoule per one gram of organic matter. 
estimated in the same manner as that of glucose. So you can see that every one gram of proteins provides 17 kilojoules. One gram of carbohydrates provides 17 kilojoules. Every one gram of lipids provides 38 kilojoules. Can you now draw out the definition of the energy value of food? Sure. The energy value is the quantity of energy produced by the oxidation of one gram of organic matter. If the energy value is the quantity of energy produced by the oxidation of one gram of organic matter, apply this concept and calculate the energy provided by a meal consisting of 80 grams of carbohydrates, 18 grams of lipids, and 42 grams of proteins. As you can see, this meal is a mixture of many types of organic matter, carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. So the energy provided by this meal is equal to the sum of the energy supplied by carbohydrates plus the energy supplied by proteins plus the energy supplied by lipids. By referring to this table, every one gram of carbohydrates provides 17 kilojoules. 80 grams of carbohydrates provide 80 times 17. Every one gram of proteins provides 17 kilojoules. 42 grams of proteins provide 42 times 17 kilojoules. And one gram of lipids provides 38 kilojoules. 18 grams of lipids provide 18 times 38 kilojoules. The sum of the energy values is equal to 2,758 kilojoules. Let us now consider another factor, which is the volume of oxygen consumed during respiration. Is there a relation between the oxygen consumed during respiration and the energy produced? By referring to the same chemical reaction studied before, the oxidation of organic matter, such as glucose. During this reaction, glucose reacts with oxygen. Oxygen is an essential element for oxidation reaction. They produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Every one mole of glucose reacts with six moles of oxygen, and they produce 2,871 kilojoules. If we have 12 moles of oxygen, how much energy is it produced? 2 times 2,871 kilojoules. So you can see that the energy produced by the oxidation reaction is proportional to the amount of oxygen used during this reaction. The volume of oxygen is expressed in liter. How much energy is it released by one liter of oxygen? By simple calculation, every one liter of oxygen releases during the degradation of a varied meal. Varied means mixed, made up of carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. 20 kilojoules. This value, 20 kilojoules per liter, represents the average thermal coefficient, or the energy value of oxygen, which means the energy released by one liter of oxygen in the degradation of a varied meal. This clearly shows us that we can calculate the energy expenditure from the volume of oxygen consumed during respiration. For this reason, the volume of oxygen consumed during a specific activity, moderate activity, light activity, sedentary, by an athlete, this volume is measured by an instrument called the spirometer. The volume obtained 
is divided by the duration or the time of measurement expressed in hour and the weight of the individual expressed in kilogram, since the volume consumed varies from one person to another person. This ratio, volume of oxygen in liter over mass in kilogram times time in hour, represents the respiratory intensity or the intensity of respiration IR. It is expressed in liters of oxygen gas per one kilogram of body mass per hour. Liter per kilogram per hour. Knowing the volume of oxygen consumed during respiration and the average thermal coefficient of oxygen or the energy value of oxygen, energy expenditure is then calculated from the intensity of respiration or the respiratory intensity according to the formula. Energy expenditure is equal to the volume of oxygen expressed in liter per kilogram per hour times the average thermal coefficient 20 kilojoules per liter in case of a varied meal or a mixed meal. By simplifying liter, liter minus one, energy expenditure is expressed in kilojoules per kilogram per hour. Apply now the acquired knowledge and solve the following exercise. During exercise, this means a physical exercise, an athlete consumes three liters of oxygen per one minute. Question number one, how much energy does he spend if his exercise lasts 10 minutes? To solve this question, what is the energy expenditure? It is equal to the volume of oxygen times the average thermal coefficient. So firstly, you have to calculate the volume of oxygen consumed per 10 minutes. From the given, three liters are consumed per one minute. Per 10 minutes, the volume consumed is equal to three times 10 equal 30 liters. So the energy expanded during the 10 minutes is equal to the volume of oxygen consumed 30 liters times the average thermal coefficient 20 kilojoules per liters it is equal to 600 kilojoules if the athlete consumes 3 liters of oxygen per 1 minute what is the energy expended in 10 minutes the volume of oxygen consumed in 10 minutes is equal to the volume of oxygen consumed per one minute times 10 equal three times 10 equal 30 liters of oxygen. So the energy expenditure is equal to the volume of oxygen times thermal coefficient equal 30 liters times 20 kilojoules per liter equal 600 kilojoules. So the energy expanded in 10 minutes is 600 kilojoules. Question number two. Explain why the respiratory intensity of the athlete cannot be calculated. To answer this question, what is the respiratory intensity? It is the volume of oxygen consumed in liters per one kilogram of body mass per hour. Referring to the given, the volume of oxygen consumed is calculated. The time is 10 minutes, but the weight of the athlete is not given. For this reason, the respiratory intensity cannot be calculated. To summarize, oxidation reactions produce energy. The energy value is the quantity of energy produced by the oxidation of one gram of organic matter, 17 kilojoules for carbohydrates and proteins, 38 kilojoules for lipids. The respiratory intensity is the volume of oxygen consumed per 
one kilogram of body mass during one hour. VO2 expressed in liter per kilogram per hour. The average thermal coefficient, 20 kilojoules per liter, is the energy released per one liter of oxygen for the degradation of varied food. Energy expenditure expressed in kilojoule per kilogram per hour equal volume of oxygen expressed in liter per kilogram per hour times average thermal coefficient 20 kilojoule per liter.